Okay, so it sounds like some of you have an answer here. So let's uh, just see where you got. So because it's squared, it means it can be both positive and negative. So there's actually going to be four angles that I'm looking for. Um, the triangle that has the half in it is this one, where it's going to be 1, 2, root 3. 30 degrees up here, 60 degrees down here. So if I want the sine of a half, it's going to be 30 degrees. So I'll call this my reference angle. 30 degrees is pi over 6. So that means of the four angles, this one is pi over 6. This one is 5 pi over 6. 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. So those are the four possible answers for where sine squared x minus a quarter equals 0. In the second example, uh, this time we're looking for where the cosine squared x equals 1. So we're looking for where cos x is plus or minus 1. There's no triangle that's going to give me a cosine of 1. I have to think about the unit circle. So, which, do you remember how cosine connects to the unit circle? It's the x-coordinate. So I want an x-coordinate of 1, which is here, and an x-coordinate of negative 1, which is here. So that happens when x equals 0 radians, or when x equals pi. So the two possible answers for the second one is x equals 0 and x equals to pi. Okay, so, so far well, all we've dealt with is these, you know, squares and these kind of linear ones. Um, if I gave you these questions, could you solve those? Nope, done, give up. Well, we've solved things similar to this. Do you remember what we did to, uh, sure, Jackie. Make one of them equal to zero. Make one of them equal to zero. Yeah, so for example, in this first one, if I just forget about the tan of x for a second, if I make cos x minus 1 equals 0, the whole thing equals to 0, right? Same thing as if I was to say, well, let's pretend this wasn't there. Solve it for this one equals to 0. 0 times anything will get me that answer. So that's what your job is here, is to take two equations and solve these. So give those a try, I'll catch up to you. Okay, so for the first example, we're looking for where cos x equals to 1. That's a unit circle question. So if we take a look on our unit circle. This is where the x coordinate equals 1. So x equals 0. That's one of our answers. Now the other one that we're going to take a look for is uh, where tan x equals 1. Yes? Is it x is 1 times 0? Isn't x what? I'm not telling you is x equal to 1? Okay, I see what you're saying. Um, oh, so yes, so there's a mistake that I've made there is what you're saying, right? Okay, we're all, I'm getting confused now too. I'm getting confused. I believe my answer is correct though. Because I'm looking at 0 degrees. That's the uh, angle that I made to get to a coordinate of 1, right? If this here is the point 1, 0, Yes, the x-coordinate, which is the cosine, equals 1. So I have to figure out what angle is that. Just like if I go up to here, when I'm at 90 degrees, the cosine would be equal to 0, or sorry, the cosine would equal 0 and the sine would equal 1. Okay, so and it's a bit of a brain buster, but it is actually correct. Um, x equals 0, that's the angle that's formed when the cos x equals 1. So it's the angle that's formed. That's the difference between the, uh, the answer. Well, if you're using the coordinates itself, it's because you're trying to figure out the cosine of something equals. For example, like if I put in, if I wanted to know um, what's the cosine of 0 degrees, then I would use the coordinate right here. If I wanted to know the cosine of 90 degrees, I use the coordinate. If I'm over here and I want to know the cosine of, uh, that's pi, the cosine of pi is going to be negative 1. Okay. okay, where tan x equals to 1, 1, 1, root 2. 
So my reference angle is um, 45 degrees. That's pi over 4. So tangent is positive here and here. So the answers will be pi over 4. And the other one down here, which will be 5 pi over 4. Okay. So those are the two answers for the first question. Okay, how about the second question? Can you do that one right from start to finish? Okay, so for the first piece, you're looking for where cos x equals to 0. And again, that's going to be a unit circle question. So here's the tricky, uh, the tricky part is you're trying to think where does the x coordinate equal to 0. So here's where the x coordinate equals to 0. So the angle that forms those two points is going to be the angle I'm looking for. So the angle here is 90 degrees, which is pi over 2. The other angle is the one that goes around to here, which is 270 degrees. So that will be 3 pi over 2. Okay. The other equation that we need to solve is this one here, which is where the cos x equals negative 1 half. Okay. There is a triangle that's going to give me that answer, 2, 1, root 3, where this is 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees. And the cosine is the adjacent, so it's going to be my reference is 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. So it tells me my answer is negative. That means the answers I'm looking for are going to be here and here, where the cosine is negative. So I use that reference angle. That gives me 2 pi over 3 as this angle, and it gives me 4 pi over 3 as this angle here. So here are the four answers for this question. One, two, three, four. So this has been our newest strategy so far is to factor. So what we're going to take a look at is sometimes things get really complicated because you're not used to dealing with equations that have sines and cosines and tangents in them. So the way we're going to change this is we're going to make a little substitution. So for example, um, in my margin, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put uh, let u equal sine of x. Because then, what I'm really talking about when I look at this expression, I'm talking about u <coughs> squared minus 3u. That's something that is easy to factor, something you're used to factoring. So it gets even more uh, appropriate the more you have to factor. For example, in this equation, I would like this to be u squared minus 3u minus 28. So what substitution have I made here? Well, I've, I've, made a, I've gone from an equation which is tan squared minus 3 tan x minus 28 to an equation that is u squared minus 3u minus 28. So what's the substitution I've made? That's, that's what I want to know. You're right, you can factor it and solve it, but yeah, so what I've done in my margin here is I've said let oh. u equal the tangent of x. Okay. Because it may help you to do some factoring. Okay, especially in the last case here, um, I would probably do this in my margin as 2u squared plus 7u minus 4. I'm not using x because x was already in the questions that I started with, so <coughs> I can pick another letter. Okay, so. One other thing that we're going to do here when we, uh, once we've done our substitutions and we factor them is we have to think about some things we need to be careful of. So here's some restrictions if we think about SOHCAHTOA. Um, sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. So what restrictions are there on the sine of x? Hypotenuse cannot be zero. Yeah, well we'll assume we have a triangle. So the, the hypotenuse can't be equal to zero. We'll assume we have a triangle. But what... Uh, for example, could I get sine of some angle equal to 5? How come? Uh, because the hypotenuse is also longer than the hypotenuse. Right, so the bottom is always largest. So because that's the largest, what kind of number should I expect out of this? Smaller than 1. It's got to be smaller than 1, but greater than negative 1, right? So sine is going to be between negative 1 and 1. If you're asked to solve an equation that is not in that range, it cannot be done. You can just say no solution. 
Okay, same thing for the cosine, very similar reason. Okay. Now, what about the tangent? What do we have to be careful of for the tangent? Is there any value that tangent couldn't be equal to? Well, that's one thing we're going to have to check for is make sure that you don't actually divide by zero. But the other thing that um, it's all real numbers for the tangent. So the only thing that we uh, are concerned about is that we don't divide by zero. So now when we look at our equations, those are a couple of extra things that we're going to have to think about.